Well, hello world. It's Kami 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 Dahlia and thank you for tuning in for another video of mine. So for today's look, I have the new makeup, new makeup. I have the new Jaclyn Hill um, vault collection. I got this on Thursday and I'm barely getting around to play with it and I'm super excited. Um, I was going to do swatches, but then I thought it was just, it was redundant, but I will show you just a quick look of the palettes. Um, this is Ring the Alarm. Gorgeous shade, sorry. There you go. Gorgeous shades right there. And then this one is Bling Boss. These have like your purples. Oops. Maybe I should move that. There we go. And then we have Armed and Gorgeous. There we go. This one's my favorite. And then we have Dark Magic. There we go. Stunning, stunning, stunning. The packaging is very sleek. I like it. Um, I'm nervous. I'm hoping that I get the new formulated palettes because there's like a lot of speculation that Morphe didn't like get rid of the old ones. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just hoping that I have the good palette and that it's going to work. So yeah, I'm going to use um, Armed and Gorgeous for today's look. What am I going to do? I don't know. So stay, so stay tuned. So stay tuned. So keep on watching and we'll find out together. Okay, so I'm back. I just primed my eyelids using Tarte Shape Tape and I set it using Makeup Revolution Banana, part banana Powder. And now I'm going to take um, the Armed and Gorgeous um, palette from the Jaclyn Hill Bolt which one which is uh, this one right here and I'm gonna take the shade um, access it's the shade right here and I'm going to use this as my transition shade and um, I'm going in with a Sigma e40 blending brush so let's see let's see how this is Next, I'm going to grab this shade Secure right here on a Sigma um, E25. It kind of um, looks like a, um, a Morphe uh, M433. Pretty much the same thing, so use what you have. But I'm going to take that, I'm going to take Secure on that brush, and I'm going to put this um, in my um, crease. And because I like to layer colors, I'm going to grab the shade Agent, it's this color over here, and I'm going to take it on the same um, E25 brush. Actually, I'm going to dab both colors, the Secure and Agent, because it look, looks like Agent is a little bit lighter than Secure. And then I'm going to go back in with that E40 brush, and I'm going to take Excess, and I'm just going to kind of um, buff it out a little bit more on top. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the shade Top Secret. It's this green color right here, and I want to take it on. This is just a Wet n Wild um, brush, and it's just um, a dome brush. And I'm going to pack it on the outer and inner corner of my eye and then connect it in the center. Then I'm going to go in with that E25 um, blending brush and I'm going to just um, blend out the edges. I'm going to go in with a Morphe E18. It's a brush like this and I'm going to use this to pack on Top Secret again just to layer it. I feel like it's kind of getting blended away.
or you're gonna have a beautiful look one way or another. Okay, so this is the look so far. Am I loving it? No. Can I make it work? Yes. But now I'm going to take um, Tarte Shape Tape and just a concealer brush and I'm going to um, cut the crease where this open area is right here. I'm gonna do as usual, I'm gonna put some concealer in the center and I'm gonna look up and then it's gonna transfer and then where it transfers, I'm gonna create the line there. Okay, next I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. Um, mine is a Sigma E56, and I'm gonna take the shade Classified. I'm gonna put it where the green meets the concealer. I'm gonna get the shade um, Guilt Trip, the shade right here and put it on the center. I'm gonna take um, a Sigma E36, it's just a small little blender, and I'm gonna take the shade Prow, and I'm gonna take that, um, like right here, where the, like right on top, to add some dimension right there. Like I just feel like that green is just getting lost, especially like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I feel like it's almost gone. Let's try to fix this. Yeah, I can't say that I like it. This green is letting me down. I think this is the best I'm gonna get it. So I am going to do my other eye off the of camera and um, as always, I'm gonna do my lashes as well as my base and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back um, and I'm going to take um, the Arm and Gorgeous palette and I am going to take a flat definer brush and I'm using a Sigma E15. I'm gonna go ahead and take Prowl it's that um, brown shade. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my waterline as well as um, right against my lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a Morphe E18 and I'm gonna go in with um, Top Secret, that green shade right here, and I'm going to buff out um, the shade Prowl. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same Morphe E18 and I'm gonna take this shade right here, um, Secure, and I am going to put that right underneath um, a Top Secret. So I'm gonna grab a black eyeliner and I'm gonna tight line and then I'm gonna apply some mascara to my lower lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, we're almost done. I'm down to my lips and I'm gonna take um, Jouer's Liquid Lip in the shade um, Terra. Alright guys, so this completes the look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Since you made it this far, you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. Don't forget to like and comment. Share this video with everyone and anyone and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys! I mean, does it look okay? Yeah. Is it my favorite? No. No. Like, I feel like I'm having to jizz it up, finesse it, whatever word you want to say to say that I'm trying to fix it. <laughs>